a similar size, if not Tumba has a broader set of shoulders at this point. They are looking very similar in size. It's definitely not Tundi though that's sitting there. So a fourth leopard is now joined and who knows how many more because Tundi went jogging off into the bush. There he goes. Look at the size of him. He is massive. Okay, moving to infrared. So Seb's going to go to infrared to try and be able to see better. He's dropping down into the riverbed which is where Tundi went. So I think we're going to have a separation there. Hassan is now interested in what's going on as well. Shungile growling. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what else to say about all of this. I certainly have no idea. There goes, so you see, Hosanna has now realized, hang on, there's another male here. Tess, you say this is crazy. Hosanna certainly didn't like the presence of another male. He's slinking off now behind me. And Shungile is still standing her ground. She's still sitting, she's still looking. Well done, Shungile. You've seriously, seriously made me impressed today. There was ever a doubt if this little female has the fight to survive and to be a dominant female, well there you go, we've just been shown. She's just stood up to every leopard that has come her way, even Tumba, she started to growl at him. She's made herself very big today. So well done girl, you certainly, like I say, have impressed me. I don't know where Hosanna has gone. Hosanna is here just to my left still. Tandi down in the drainage, Tumba down in the drainage. So I think we're all good at this stage. I'm sorry about my cap. I'm trying to stay under, but to still see what's going on and try and still spot everybody and make sure that I can see everyone. Hosanna is very clever. What he's done is he's actually moved out of the open and has moved himself into a thicket where he can watch and stay a little bit more hidden. And I would say now's the time for all of these leopards to separate. Tandi is the one that made the move and walked off. I think she heard Tumba coming and she went to go and maybe just say, oh, wait, this is not a place for you, Tumba. You need to be out of here. And that maternal instinct has kicked in and she's now going to lead her young son away from this potential situation, which would be the best thing that we could possibly see. If we can see Shongila and Hasana going further west now and Tandi and Tumba going east, it certainly will make things a lot better. But I don't even know what else to say. Nathan, you asking would lions come and investigate? Most certainly, if lions heard this noise, they would be in here in a flash to see what's going on, and that would not be good news. The nice, the lucky thing, should we say, is that there is not a lion anywhere in the vicinity that we know of. So there is the Nkuma Pride has not come back from Manuleti. The Birmingham males, as far as I know, two are down in the south with the sticks. Another one crossed from Twin Dam. So there's another leopard there. Seb, can you see it just over the top? It's just got its ears out, sticking up just through that gap there so that section there is where it is just underneath that tree so unfortunately there's a tree in the way for Seb but where uh, a little bit up would be Seb I think you, you're gonna battle unfortunately with but there's another leopard that's over there yeah, as well and Hosanna slinking away behind us back towards Gallego and towards the staff camp Shongile is now your time is to move go done your job it's time for you to start getting out of here look she's chuffing now she's trying to I think call towards Hosanna to say where are you going look at those ears are working heavily okay she really now it's time I think she's nervous to turn her back on what's going on because she doesn't want to get caught unawares again see any other leopards there's moving leopard there. there's a leopard there but it's just watching yeah. what's going on it's not moving towards us in any way shape or form at this stage it's just, that's Tumba though that's over there by what I can see it looks like him right now that everything's just reached some sort of a hiatus and we just really kind of chilled out and it looks as though Hassan is moving off, Shongile is static, Tumba's just watching what's going on, no sign of Tandi. Let's quickly just jump across, actually hold on, let's just see where Shongile, no she's going to lie down. Okay, while we're sitting like this I believe Taylor has got a whole bunch of elephants that are running down towards Chitra Dam. So let's quickly catch up with her while everything stays fairly relaxed this side. 
look at this we have got elephants but i have to show you two of our little hippo calves are just standing out of the water and they are so cute the one at the back looks like it's biting its friend's tail and they are staring at the herd of elephants that have just come down towards us we're still in infrared that's why you're seeing in black and white at the moment isn't that absolutely amazing now they've still got a while to go before they reach of course uh, the the area where they will come and graze but then the elephants are just on the other side of the island right in front of my car in fact right in front of Wendy how amazing is that we we're so focused on watching those little hippos and the next minute I heard shuffling of feet and I thought my goodness somebody's coming down very quickly and it's my favorite animal in the whole wide world hello girl yes I know it's dark and you're probably thinking why are you watching us drink water wonder if it's the herd uh, that we saw their tracks